News Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of Peltalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the internet with more than 4 million unique users and now on demand on iTunes. I'm your host, Gary Baumgarten, coming to you live from Dallas, Texas, today, tomorrow, and Friday, the Big D. Well, today, the President of the United States held a news conference, and at that news conference, he said, that if Iran goes nuclear, it's leading us, Iran is, to World War III. I'll tell you one thing. This is certainly uh, causing for the Cold War, which we thought had thawed out with the demise of the Soviet Union and the tearing down of the Berlin Wall to uh, occur once again, global warming notwithstanding, Uh, diplomacy is getting awfully darn cold out there because just yesterday Russian President Putin or Putin said that, uh, you know, he would oppose, Russia would oppose any military action towards Iran. A day later, the President of the United States says Iran is going to force the world into World War III. I'm wondering, is the President being forthright about his assessment of the situation or Is this just the kind of rhetoric that we saw prior to the invasion of Iraq? And is this deja vu, as Yogi Berra would suggest, all over again? I know that many of you have a lot to say about this issue. I know that uh, some of you would agree with the president, and some of you would disagree with the president. And today we're going to open it up without a guest to allow you to be the guests on News Talk Online, on paltalk.com, to give your opinion on this uh, very volatile issue. Just reading the text in the room here on Peltalk.com prior to the show, I noticed comments like David R. 540, who wrote, God bless President Bush uh, for doing the right thing. And then I see Tom Mush. Okay, it seems that uh, Gary dropped on us. There he is. He's back. He's back. I dropped. Okay, sorry about that. I'm on an air card, and uh, uh, well, this may happen from time to time. Uh, but what I was going to suggest is that I I believe that uh, this particular issue uh, will cause for there to be uh, people divided, polarized on one side of the issue to the other. I don't think that this particular issue is going to create much ambiguity in the minds of people. I may be wrong if uh, you if you're um, not uh, clear on where you stand on this issue. I'd like to hear from you as well. If you agree with the president, I'd like to hear from you. And if you disagree with the president, I would like to hear from you. I got to tell you that to me it sounds suspiciously similar to the kind of rhetoric, rhetoric that we heard before the invasion of Iraq. And look at the mess that we're in with Iraq right now. Um, now, do I believe that? Uh, Iran does have nuclear weapons aspirations? Absolutely. But I'm wondering if public pronouncements such as this are a good thing, or should we be back-channeling and attempting to pressure Iran uh, to back down uh, by another means and tell them privately that if they keep it up, uh, ultimately the military option has not been removed from the table. But why is it so necessary to put this out in the public view to cause for there to be such a polarization between nations? Or am I a bit naive in my outlook about this? I'd like to know what you think about that. Let's get right to the calls. Our first caller is Sonny, who's joining us from Germany. Welcome to the show, Sonny. Thank you very much, Gary. Uh, my personal view about the Iran is that uh, I think we need to do something very immediately because we are running out of time. The USA and all the countries should call meeting and these all the countries give them give the Iran three chances. The first chance, are you going to withdraw from the nuclear weapons? This is the first chance. If not, then we have every right to stop the Iran. Otherwise, it is very difficult because the future of the world is very dark. If we don't stop the Iran right now, the whole future future of the our world will be destroyed. <clears throat> the Iran is Iran is taking Sorry, a lot of time sorry I was clearing my throat. throat. Didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> it's okay. 
I say I, I don't understand why we are giving a lot of time to the Iran. He's making a lot of uh, psychological tricks, and the Russia is the one of the major problem for us. I think Iran, uh, the Russia is heading towards the World War Three. Russia is the major problem. We have to stop the Russia before we stop the Iran. The first of all, we have to give some money to the President Putin because he is looking for something. Until and unless we don't use our brain to stop President Putin and to stop Russia, and then we move towards the Iran. But I must say that we are running out of time, and allowing Iran to have a nuclear weapon is very dangerous to the whole world. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, Sonny. So Sonny believes that we should not uh, allow for Iran to continue developing its nuclear weapons and that we should pay off President Putin of Russia to get him off of our backs when it uh, comes to Iran. I don't know, the whole situation is getting very serious in my mind because, um, and by the way, this comes against the backdrop of the Turks invading Kurdistan, which is part of Iraq, which is under U.S. protection, but the, the Turks are the allies of the United States, where does that put the United States? It's just a mess in that region of the world. And, you know, I would really, I hope to hear hopefully from somebody maybe in their 80s who was around prior to World War II. I'd like to hear from, you know, the surviving people from that generation who can talk about the rhetoric that they heard prior to World War II and whether this rhetoric that we're hearing now is reminiscent of that. Our next caller is uh, Samantha joining us from Northern California. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, do we have to be in our 80s to know what happened back in World War II? Um, those of us who do know and, and did learn, you know, we're hearing the same propaganda that was told to, to them back then. And as you asked earlier, you know, do we agree or disagree with what, what Bush had to say today? You know, I don't agree, but then I've not ever agreed with anything Bush has, have, has, has had to say. I also find it highly irresponsible of this man as the president of this country to even suggest World War III. Why not preface ongoing diplomacy and for once get away with his continual fear tactics and suggesting to resolve this, there has to be a war. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Samantha. Of course, on the other uh, side of that coin is I do believe that they are trying to build nuclear weapons, and I think that the world will be a far more dangerous place if they are, 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 are successful. We already see that they are using their surrogates around the world, our protests from Paul Rogers, our guest yesterday notwithstanding, um, to create havoc. The Syrians are their surrogates. Hezbollah are their surrogates. Um, the attack on the uh, Buenos Aires uh, Jewish Center was uh, orchestrated by Iran. Can you imagine if they put nuclear weapons in the hands of terrorists, what we would be facing in this world? It's just a scary thought. That being said, I, I have said consistently